okay, I've been wanting to do a video on things that make me go, mm, when you're out arrowhead hunting, artifact hunting, hunting the creeks, the rivers, fields, and things that kind of uh, you pick up and say, this has got to be a Native American artifact. And the one I'm showing you here is several examples of battery cores. Um, they come, um, this large one comes from an early car, maybe a Model T Ford or something like that from the 19, early 1900s. And those are other examples of battery cores. Um, they're made out of carbon, so they're lighter than regular stone. And um, if you take one and take a piece of paper, it'll leave a black mark if you um, try to draw with it or something. So I've seen this uh, confused a lot with Native American artifacts on Facebook pages and such where people think they're shaft scrapers or other tools to... Um, Native Americans would use. And you can see um, how that can be confusing. So the next one here is the crinoids. Uh, Indian money, as some call it. Um, these are um, stem stems of that. You'll find it in um, single form where it, you know, it looks like a bead or something. Some may have been used for a bead, but most likely not. And um, But these are uh, larger pieces that I've found, and I say that um, also on Facebook page, uh, pages confusing with Native American artifacts. The next piece here is one I found, and when I first found it, I was like, oh, I found something amazing, but then I realized soon that it was actually a uh, bottom of an old bottle that has been wallowing in the creek for a while and um, been marked up and smoothed around and stuff, but it's actually a bottom of a old bottle. So that can, you can see how that could be misconstrued as a uh, artifact. And then the next one, and they call it Heg Stones, which uh, people pull these up and say, well, they got holes in them. Native Americans made them, but it's just a natural formation in the stone where a hole has developed. But here we have just a, a, a old bone, but you can see how that um, could be mistaken for an artifact, but it's just a, a broken bone that's been smoothed by the creek and by time. And then, uh, of course, you always find uh, just a normal flint flakes laying around that have points on them and may have been um, somewhat worked but you know these you uh, find while in the field or on the creek or river is a concretion um it's a uh, something that formed many many moons ago and it's left a void and, and some people mistake those um for native artifacts um as paint bowls or some which some may have been used but as you can see in this one, you can see that it's not smooth inside, that it's not been altered um, any by man, that it's just a natural, um, a natural thing that took place in nature, not a native artifact so at those all. Those are some of the things that you find um, hunting for native artifacts that you pick up and go, hmm, I wonder what that is. Is that an artifact? But uh, 